Hi guys, it's been a while since I have been in the studio to record. And so today is just about um, me just kind of crafting along and just kind of wherever it takes me today. It's one of those like, I think rejuvenating, um, get back into the swing of things, if you will, type of days. Um, yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, happy Sunday, everybody. Um, like I said, it's been it's been a hot minute since I recorded any videos because everything that you've seen was all like pre-recorded. And then I was thinking, well, maybe you guys might want to join along, like, and just I don't know, um, you know, whatever. Um, and so yeah, we just got back and. Um, yeah, I just felt the need to just like decompress and, um, I think like, <clears throat> I know like a couple months ago, um, you guys all know that I had a nephew that passed and I found it really helpful when things are not going well in my life. If I just turn on the camera and just, um, start crafting with you guys, it feels like you guys are in the room with me. And so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling today. And so I am just messing with whatever's close. Like, I'm not even, I mean, I kind of have a purpose, right? Like some of the stuff is just needed to be done. But then on the same token, I'm not um, limiting it either. Man, and does anybody else find that their black stays on smells like licorice or something? Ugh. I am not a black licorice fan at all. So anyways, yep, I am just doing a bunch of random stuff. Um, so yeah, pull out whatever you've got handy and we'll just craft for a little bit. Um, I plan to just stamp and stamp until I'm out of fabric and need to go to the cupboard and get more. Um, which I don't know if it'll end up being wasteful or not, but that is what I am doing today. Because today is all about just having faith that things get better, right? Um, yeah, I, I'm sure a bunch of you are just kind of feeling that way. Like we've either A, been locked in all the time or we're wearing masks and we can't see family. And, you know, I think it just gets to us. Um, yeah, so today it has gotten to me. So <laughs> we're going to just do nothing planned. How about that? And um, I am a bad sna stamp mom. As, um, oh, and we have a ton of new subscribers, so welcome, everybody. Um, yeah, that is awesome. And um, I hope that you guys will play along with us when we're doing the um, challenges. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have had a chance to kind of go back and look at any old videos, but um, we're pretty mellow around here, I think. Um, so, yeah, as you get to know me, you'll know that I have two kids a husband, three dogs, 18 rabbits, and six cats, and a whole bunch of feral ones in the neighborhood that like to call my food dish home. Um, so <laughs> that said, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, and there it is. I was like, I don't know where this one goes. It goes right here. Um, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty basic here, and I probably better better put a, about the same width on this one and then we'll go to the bigger ones um I what more about me um I do a lot of process videos um which I that is also kind of an announcement I need to make because I have like I really have like 10 videos that I need to film if not more um but the next two months um I'm gonna kind of limit the process videos a little bit um, with my design team works, um, and just basically, um, do like ephemeral work, if that makes any sense. Um, because with our challenge, I've got a lot, a lot to accomplish. So yeah, that's how we're going to roll the next couple of months. I mean, you're still going to get, um, you know, a whole lot. And if, of course, if you have questions, if you're new to the junk journaling world and kind of feeling your way around, I'm by far not an expert and I do a lot of trial and error with um, my subscribers. So yeah, be prepared for that. I am not perfect at anything, just um, perfectly imperfect. 
and I tend to show my mistakes. Like, I don't hide them from you guys. Um, those of you that have been with me for a while know how funny it is when I make mistakes, right? Like, I am definitely not a person that is afraid of laughing at herself or being laughed at or with. Eh, it is what it is, right? Um, yeah, so I'm glad you guys are joining us. So, yeah, um, what else is new? Um, we went to South Dakota, so that was good. We had fun doing that. Oh, there it is. Um, my desk is usually always a mess, so, yeah. Those of you that have been with me for a while already know that, so. But just be warned, it's usually kind of a mess. I'm usually always a mess, so, yeah. Actually, hold on, before I stamp that. It's been working better if I just rip this part off first and then we'll go back in a minute and kind of rip it apart. So yeah, um, South Dakota's beautiful. Um, we had a lot of fun up there. Um, it's definitely something to go see. Um, we saw Mount Rushmore. We saw Crazy Horse. And that, I think, was one of our favorite parts because um, we stayed late enough for them to do the night show. And that is something to behold. Like, there's a lot, a lot of work that has gone into Crazy Horse, and it's by far not even done yet. Um, it's a very complex statue that they're making for the um, for Crazy Horse. And um, so they have his face done for the most part now. Um, and then they do this incredible light show at like 9.30 at night. And um, it's really something to see. Um, there's a lot of symbolicness in, going on in it. Um, <laughs> we had, we did a lot more, instead of doing like a lot of the, like the attractions and stuff, we spent more time in the forest and like driving around to see like the different um, parts of the Black Hills. Um, and one night when we were coming, the night we were coming home from Crazy Horse, um, there was a buffalo, not in the road, but like right next to the road. And it scared us all like to pieces, like, and then of course, you know, we did the tours thing and we went back cause it was like, we were driving and it was on this side of the road. And we're like, holy cow, was that a buffalo? And sure enough it was. So we went back and, um, I might include that video in there. Um, cause you know, as families do, I'm sure our, um, uh, Sometimes, I mean, um, how do I say this? Our family, I think, is a lot like a lot of other American families where maybe a few cuss words occasionally slip out. Um, especially when we see something that's like out of the normal. I think that um, I don't think I'm alone in that. Um, so yeah, I in the video, I do warn them. I'm like, I'm recording this, no cuss words. So that was pretty funny. Everybody laughed about that. And then on the way back, when we turned back around to head back to the camper, um, Bo, um, our son, the goofball that he is, started mooing at the, at the buffalo. So yeah, that was pretty funny. And Gracie just snuck back here and she needs to ask me a question probably about dinner, huh? No, no you're giggling about it too. Yeah, so, oh, oh good, it didn't really mark. Hey, Grace, I'm stamping your name. I have a stamp that says your name. Well, not your full name. <laughs> Don't be tripping all over my messes over there. I didn't. The vent thing popped and it scared oh. me. Oh, look, I messed up one of those. Oh, well. Look, see? Wow, what are you looking for? What can I help you find? Um, so, remember this, that thing I made for Miss Cora a couple months ago? Uh, the make... altered notebook. Yeah, yeah I, I remember. Them for... Okay. So Miss Cora texted our group and was like, "If anybody has anything else to put in like the survival kits, to tell her so we can get together." And I have those paints that I need to give her. Okay. But then I also thought that, oh crap, I was gonna make those, wasn't I? Yeah. Do you have the notebooks, or do we need to pick those up? Well, you, I thought you said that we had a bunch of spiral notebooks. Too. Um, I do believe we still have a bunch of spiral notebooks over there. So, yes, everybody who's new, um, I don't, my, my kids 
uh, okay, so I just about said it like in a mean way, but my kids are a very big part of my life. And so occasionally you're going to hear them come in and I talk to them when they come in. So, um, and I make no apologies. Um, this is, well, okay. That also is going to sound mean and I don't mean it that way, but like, um, uh, my channel, my rules, right? Um, I try to accommodate everybody, but on occasion, you know? Life is life, and I don't try to hide it from you guys, so. <clears throat> I am really excited you guys are here, though, and I'm really, really excited to see, um, like, pictures of what you're doing, and I will put my Instagram account down in the description box of this video. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you want to do it and you have an Instagram, um, I have a Facebook group, but it has, like, three people in it, so, I mean, I, I don't know. Um you're more than welcome to go over there. It's just hand, hand made by Dee Dee. So nothing like out of the ordinary. Um, you can go over there and I'll accept your request to join the group or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, like we don't really actually do anything over there. I created it back in like November or December because they, you know, of the whole, um, we weren't sure how things were going to go with, um, uh, YouTube and whether we were all going to get shut down and I still wanted to have a chance to connect with you guys. So if, if you feel like you want to go, oh, here I'm talking and I didn't do the one. Oh, I did do the one color I wanted. Um, did you look at the drawers? Yeah. They're not in there? No. Okay. Well, how about this? I'll be done with my video in just a little bit and then okay. I'll, then I'll help you. Okay. I just kind of thought about that and. Okay. Well, you can be down there and pick out your paper. Um, pretty much anything that's in, like standing up are papers that I don't like. They're free to use. Anything that's in the far left is like papers that people have sent me that are kind of off limits unless you ask. Okay. Pretty much all of them are sideways anyway. No, I'm talking about at the far end, not in those boxes. See all that sitting right there in the corner? That stuff is all like you have to ask first before you just use it but anything in the paper packs you are more than welcome to use okay. okay so where was i in my story ah story what i'm stop and stamping oh. with the word story just like wait what are you laughing at? <laughs> uh because you know your mom's a goon um where was okay what part of the stories was i at what are you about? i don't remember now um so well i can finish south dakota so yeah Bo rolled down the window and mooed at this um sleeping <laughs> buffalo and i'm like oh yeah because that's great what if he happens to wake up and charge the truck We're like really but you know we all had a good laugh and it's like that turned out to be one of our favorite parts of the trip is him doing his thing like that's pretty funny our son is pretty pretty comical and so is his sister can I so. paper standing up over here, the single one? The single, yeah. Okay. Yep. Ask before you use it on some of them, but like the ones that look like this, this is the only paper in that whole thing that's like off limits because it's my favorite and I use it a lot. Okay. Oh, were all these single ones the ones that came from? No, um, that box is over here and you are more than welcome to look at anything in there. Okay. I just, I haven't had time to put it away. Um, so, okay, so it's Crazy Horse, Buffalo, um, we did go to the bear, Big Bear Country, that is pretty fun, um, let's see, what else did we do, um, we went into, like I said, we went into the forests, and, um, just kind of hiked around, which that was fun, um, we stopped at a couple of little lakes and kind of looked at all that, the kids enjoyed being mountain goats, <laughs> Um, the campground that we stayed in, because we took the camper, that was fun. Um, it was very beautiful and very clean. The staff was really nice. Um, we did do a spot of shopping. We did go to the President's Wax Museum. And the kids were, like, all worried that they'd have nightmares, right? Because these wax figures actually really do look like people. Well, Bo said it at the very beginning, but then he's like, you know, mom, I was thinking that would be like really lame, but it was actually really cool. I was like, I know. 
And a lot of it is because these, these, the waxes look real. Like it looks like they're standing there and it's got every president in it. Um, and every, every one of them is very unique. And a lot of them, there's only been like two or three artists to be in there. I'm making these. And so it's really unique. Like you can really tell like which artist did which thing. Um, but they all look very real. It's, it's very cool. If you ever, if you ever go to South Dakota, definitely, definitely go see the president's wax museum. It is worth every, every, every yeah, it's just fun and you will enjoy it. I promise. Um, I mean, Mount Rushmore is cool, like, the first time you see it, but I've seen it, like, this is, like, the fourth time I've seen it, so, I mean, it's still cool, but not, like, oh, my gosh, you know, not that kind of cool, and it, it did kind of suck because, you know, everybody's in masks, and all the stores were pretty much closed, and everybody was grumpy because we went, like, at three o'clock in the afternoon, and all the babies were crying, and, you know, not that, not that I, like, I'm not that person. Like, obviously, I know why babies cry, right? They're just tired. Um, but it, it was a lot of noise, right? So um, that part of it kind of sucked a little bit, especially for them. We ate at this amazing little diner. Like, it literally looked like, you know, you know the places I'm talking about. Like, like you might get food poisoning from it. Um, but it was so cool. It's called Hubcap. Hubcap's... Hubcap Diner, I think, is actually its name. And it was literally one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. Um, not gonna lie, for being like a hole in the wall, it was really expensive. But, you know, for me, it was worth every penny, I thought. Um, Paul, I think, disagrees with that whole bit. But, um, yeah. He was like, eh, it was alright. But I thought it was really good. Okay, after this one, I think, I think I'm going to stop and we'll cut these apart. And I know it's probably stuff you've all already seen. Um, I will say though, there might be some that isn't. Um, I, I have tried stamping on fabric with multiple different brand or, um, types of ink. Um, I would stay away from anything like distress ink. Um, I, and I would only go with like permanents. Like if it's waterproof and permanent, it seems to give you a crisper design. Of course, you know, if you like the kind of smudgy stamp look, do that. Um, but I prefer the more crisp one. So I use like permanent ink and you can see that I have two, like two different kinds. Stays on and archival and I like them both. I don't prefer one over the other. I just, um, with stays on, I can't get it in different colors. But the archival ink, I can get um, a plethora locally. So, and I, I typically, I, I mean, I order online from like small shops and stuff like that. And occasionally if I have to, I'll order from like Amazon, but I prefer like going to brick and mortar stores. Oh, and your cat's looking for you, Grace. Um, you'll also hear that too. Um, we have a couple of Siamese and they like to cry. So. Go give him treats. That will that will make him be quiet. He's crying. He missed you, Gracie. I know. Oh, he's gonna bust in that door anyways. Okay, so and those of you that are new are gonna know that those cats are obnoxious. Um, it's usually the one we call Barry, that's the really obnoxious one. Um, that was not the one that was just being goofy at the door. Um, I might have stamped some of these a little too close. That's all right, though. It just adds to the mystique of what we're doing, right? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I definitely cut these a little, or stamped these a little too close. All my stories, the S is, is a little off, a little wonky. But I am still going to use it, because once you glue it, I bet you it'll be just fine. Anyways, okay, back to South Dakota. What else did we do, Grace? 
Oh yeah, Cosmos. Okay, so this is this is literally for anyone who doesn't have balance issues or doesn't get nauseous at like things tilting funny. Like, you know, like roller coaster rides and that sort of thing. But we went to this place called the Cosmos and it I had heard about it like most of my life, right? But I never had gone to it. So we went this time and it it it's definitely um is definitely not for the weak at at heart as far as the um uh balance issues like because um most of you already know that I'm a giant klutz like the floors jump um doorknobs like I always have a bruise on my on my upper arm from hitting doorknobs oh I'm also extremely short um well not extremely but definitely definitely height challenged we're not short we're fun sized that's right like Grace said we're not short we're fun sized um yeah so um yeah, so we did that. What else? We did President's Museum. We shopped that day. We had a good lunch. That little diner. Yep, I already told him about the diner. Um, we managed to hit most of the state parks um, around like Custer and Keystone area. Those were really pretty. Definitely worth the drive. Um, we went on the wildlife circle and we saw like you know some buffalo and um things like that what else did we do i think i found your stash of christmas paper you did what does yeah. it look like what what does it look like where's that one? Oh yeah i have paper pads all, like all all over there <laughs> i know um, I, I just, I think that's about it. And like I said, we kind of just chilled and took it easy. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and there's nothing new in the normal world to report. What else, Gracie? I mean, the drives were uneventful. I do think we'll go back because there's there's a lot of things that we would have wanted to go see but haven't went and seen yet. So, like the um, car, like, um, I know I talked about wanting to go see that and that's something Paul wanted to go see, but then... He figured out how much distance it was between where we were staying and how many days we were staying. And he's just like, it's not really worth the drive all the way over there, which I disagreed with. But, you know, what can you say to your chauffeur, right? Um, so, yeah, um, we didn't do that one. Um, yeah, what else did we do? We just had a ton of giggles, which was what we needed. Um, yeah, and we got back last night, so yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, let's see, how many, I'm like, how much more of this stuff do I, I have plenty. I was thinking maybe I might be running out on things, but I'm not. Look at this long piece. <laughs> Yeah, this will be, I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and cut it down a little bit because that seems like an obnoxious piece to work with because it's like probably two, you know, at least a yard. So I'll cut it down and make it a little more manageable. And I'm not just going to stamp words today. I mean, that might be all we get stamped together because, um, again, I didn't look at the length, like the time. So, um, so we actually could do, let's do breathe. I was going to do choose, but let's do breathe. I'm going to have to get a different... Uh, block to. <clears throat> so yeah, I just got home and felt like I needed to stamp. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I think it won't air tomorrow because um, originally I was thinking that I would have two videos a day. 
Um, but I think that's just going to be way too much for people. And then I feel like there might be stuff that's lost. Um, so it will do, be like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are the day that the challenge gets aired. And then, um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday will be the days where I air the videos of design teams and like things like this. just love that. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> I know I have, I've worked really hard not to be a rocker on my stamps, but it's, you know, it's one of those habits that dies hard, right? It's really hard to choose papers for nobody. It is. It's really hard to choose stuff for people you really don't know, like on a personal, personal level. What kind of masculine papers are you hoping for? Well, I already found a couple for one of the boys, and he's like into like dirt bikes and hunting and stuff. So I found two different camo ones, and then a, like a foresty one. Okay. I think I'll need one more for that. I don't really know for the other one. I was thinking about just doing cars and stuff like that because I found this old vintage car paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use that. Use. And then <laughs> I found this industrial one, which was like perfect, except for the bolts one that I wanted to use wasn't in there anymore. That's because your brother used that one. Ah, sorry. That with the scrabble. <laughs> So I'm going to have to go based on personality. There's some steampunk papers in there too you could probably use. I don't mind if you use that. It's in that whole category there. Yeah. Um, I do have a couple of kit papers that are masculine. Like those ones that I, um, of Shabby Dabby Doodahs that I used to make those little tiny TNs. They also need horses. <laughs> um, horses I can't help you with. I have unicorns. Oh, that's that... for Erica. Then there's two horses. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you with horses. I don't okay. really have anything horse related. Okay. I mean, we could go look at a kit on Etsy, see if we can find a kit there. I mean, if tomorrow we could go into like Hobby Lobby for a while to make a list of a couple papers. Um, yeah, we could do that. I have to go into work tomorrow. Your dad said he has to go to the bank to drop off. I don't know. Like check something. Right. I saw that one check from the work I did. Alright. I think I will probably well, I did promise you some other things other than words, right? So let's go ahead and finish stamping the words. And then that I wanted and then we'll um I've got a couple other ones over here that I have never put on fabric that I think might look kind of cool so I know it's boring work right but hopefully we're crafting together and you're not too bored What do you mean? It doesn't, doesn't seem like a fracture of it is bad. Well, I've used a lot of it over the course of the last year. I know, but I remember like these buckets were like full or something. I know. It's because I've used a lot of paper in the last year, sweetheart. Your supply is running low. It is. But I, I don't really use the 12 by 12s anymore, so I've been trying to like use it up. I mean, I will on occasion, right? Like... But for the most part, I'm not really using those right now. Okay, what is, where were we? Okay, we did our three there. Let's do brown first and then we'll polish it off with black.
don't know why I always do that. Push too hard and then get the ink on the, the thing there. Boy, I'm not getting those very good, am I? All right. Will you go tell Dad that I'll be done with my video in just a few minutes? That I'll talk to him in a minute? Oh yeah, that was one of the things I was talking about. It's kind of the uploading schedule. Um, and like I said, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday, Sunday will be like my design team and whatever else. Like I can't remember exactly where we were in that whole conversation. So, so and then the challenge is pretty much filmed until like the very end of August. I still have some work to do on the very last one there. But other than that, we are good to roll. I'm getting pretty excited. Like, I love the enthusiasm that you guys are, that you're enjoying it. Um, I have enjoyed thoroughly putting it together for you guys. Like, it's, oh, I'm so excited for, like, the end results. Like, right? Like, yeah. And like I said, if you, if you want to um, post them to my Instagram, by all means, please do. Um, and I do have a hashtag, but apparently your girl here doesn't know how to hashtag correctly in a video. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm working on it. I am always a work in progress, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that really quick. Like, I'll be done with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and tear it down. And then that way that'll give me like a um, stopping point. Um, I'll still use these right here, but at least I know like my stamping area, if that makes sense. Like I can center them better when I'm doing these other little ones. I just have a couple more that I want to stamp tonight. Um, uh, these little guys are like my favorite and I may have stamped with them on there a long time ago, but I don't have any left and I think it might've actually just went in a journal. It's one of my favorite stamp sets and I haven't actually even pulled it out lately. Um, which is kind of a bummer because I do enjoy it. I think it's a pretty, pretty, pretty little one. Okay, my, I don't even know if my block stamp is wide enough or it's not. Gosh darn it. All right, we're going to do an Emily trick that she did in one of her videos a couple weeks ago where she put two blocks together. That girl is like wicked smart. Um, if you guys aren't a subscriber of Emily's, you should probably go check her out. Um, yeah, she's wicked smart on figuring this stuff out. I mean, I would not be able to do it on my own. Like most of my tips and tricks come from other YouTubers, right? Yeah, and it was one of her In Love Arts videos that she did this. Because um, I have not gone and bought any bigger blocks yet, which I, I do need to do that. I just haven't. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how she did it. I just used one stamp block as like one, one thing. Though I don't think I've actually done it on fabric, so we're about to find out if it works or not. I've done it on paper and like envelopes, but I have not actually done it Oh, yep, it works pretty good. Okay, so while I have the black open, I'm just going to kind of randomly pick something small and put it up at the top. And just go for it. I think this is one of the stamps that I used with Distress Ink that just would never like come out. So I, as I stick the corner of that one in, in the ink. Okay. 
Okay, let's set that aside so we can dry a little. One fine day, I'm going to buy one of those cool, like, Tim Holtz or, like, the other one. The, um... forgot what the other company's name is that makes um, those big stamp blocks. Um, you know what I'm talking about, where you put your cling stamp on one side and then, like, you stamp across... One day I'm going to order one of those. Maybe I'll do it for Christmas. Doesn't really work when the, it's dry, huh? Does anybody know how to get that off of your blocks? Like once you, once you get it on and you don't realize that it's on, does anybody know how to get the permanent ink off of your stamp blocks? That would be something I would totally dig knowing. All right, and then should we finish this one off and then kind of sign off for the day? And then um, maybe um, come back in a day or two and I'll show you what else I did and kind of the final things. Because um, you will see these, like how I'm going to use them. Um, but I have a lot of stamping to do. Um, some for stash, some for one of the projects I'm making for this month. Um, so yeah, I, I've got a lot to stamp so I can just come back and show you in another day or so what we did, what I did. Hmm. It's not coming off very well. I mean, not the black usually does, but the brown that was stamped months ago <laughs> came off better. You know, now that I think back on it, I think a couple months ago I did do some purple stamping with some of the roses I have. All right. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for today. Um, I might do a little more filming on something else a little bit later tonight, but we'll just have to see. Um, cause I told y'all last week that I literally messed up and I don't mean mess up like, like, like I, it's like, it's something I can't fix or whatever, but I bit off more than I can chew on one of my design team projects. So yeah, that's, that's another reason why you're only getting a farmer work this month. Um, and it's a very funny story. And in the next video, I will show you and tell you all about it. All right, guys, thanks for just like chit chatting with me and catching up with me. And um, I really enjoyed it today. You guys will probably never know how much I really appreciate just being able to talk with you guys, even if it's just through a camera um, and just through comments. Um, I know I'll probably never meet most of you, but know that you're important and um, you help me as much as I've heard that I help you. And so I love you guys. And again, welcome to all the new subscribers. And we will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.